and welcome to another studio vlog so as you've seen this morning i've packed up a parcel and been to the post office and now i am in my comfy clothes i've got this jumper back out it's my um gilly hicks jumper that i got from working with them last year and i absolutely love it and it's that time of year again but i am feeling inspired and today i have dedicated to drawing and kind of drafting up ideas for new products and exciting new ideas for soul and fire so i really 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 want to create some pins i've wanted to do that for ages i just keep putting it off i think i doubt myself before i've even started and then i just don't start um does anyone else do that i do that a lot um i've been thinking about it for ages and i'm like right just get it done even if i don't like the first draft you can just draw it again like i put too much pressure on myself for it to be like 100% perfect straight away um but i'm gonna try and avoid that today so i um i'm gonna do some sketches i was scrolling on pinterest last night so i'll be able to show you the process of that uh, we'll see how far i get i'm not really sure i'm just gonna roll with it and i also would like to create some cards so like greeting cards for soul and fire i want to create a little series of some sort sort of themed around valentine's day but more along the lines of if i like i send my friend card friends cards every so often like just to tell them they're doing good and stuff um uh, i want little like love we call them love gifts in our family like just buying a gift because like for no re no particular reason other than you want to buy them a gift so i want to do some little cards that aren't specifically valentine's day but are centered around like love and i like you and you're doing good you know like motivational happy little cards so that's what i'm going to do today i'm going to start sketching for those literally don't have any specific ideas for the cards at all i'm just going to use my ipad and um go with it let's hope that my ipad is charged actually because i've not picked up my ipad <laughs> since i got back from the cruise are you charged are you charged that is the question let's hope previous alice turned it off fully charged before she went on holiday i also need to take all this down to the bin that needs to go like in the garage or downstairs just need to sort my life out and i've still not tidied this corner up <laughs> so we're just having a bit of a moment but i can't be bothered to get dressed today um we're gonna create if in doubt create 57 <laughs> percent. i can deal with that i spoke too soon my pencil is not charged why am i like this <laughs> i've literally been home for like five days six days and i knew i was gonna create today and i haven't charged my ipad up why do i do this i do this so often but i thought i could show you my pinterest so we can kind of get an idea of what i'm going with the things that are going on in my brain to be honest even i don't know what's going on in my brain sometimes so good luck trying to decipher that so last night i created this pin if you aren't following my pinterest by the way highly recommend i don't know why i have this many people looking at it every month but you know um and it's got a lot of designy boards it has boards for like my stuff um ooh! and yeah just like all the stuff kind of that i find useful i put in here i love pinterest a lot but i created a board yesterday i've only got 23 pins on it at the minute but I wanted to do a little enamel pin board for inspo these were just things that i scrolled past and kind of sparked a little bit of creativity in me so i'm thinking this could inspire me somehow i like the simplicity of ones like this and like the writing but then some of these are super intricate which i thought were really really pretty i'm enjoying the colorful kind of vibe as you can probably tell um kind of swishy writing I like the creative themed ones like this is a little paint palette thing um so yeah i have got a few ideas in my brain we we'll just need to put them on paper i wrote a little note on my phone yesterday with some ideas so i was thinking doing one that says hangry approach with caution there's like a little warning sign but cute we'll see um create a life you love is one of my like favorite little mantras so that would be nice and then you've got a friend in me from um, Toy Story, possibly. But the top two are like my faves so far. And then in terms of like cards, I started pinning Christmas cards and I was going to create some. But it's got too late and I feel like that kind of limits me to only like one month a year. Whereas I prefer to do kind of 
ones that could be applied all year round so i need to figure out the card thing however there's a wonderful girl that i follow she's called polly her instagram is incredible i'll put it on screen she like is so down to earth and talks about her daily struggles you know um and she's a young independent business lady as am i i mean i'm not as young as her but i can pretend and yeah her style is really really cool she creates unique little pieces she's bringing out um something called mantras which should be live by the time this video goes up so yeah i'm excited for those to come out but basically i love her cards like her greetings cards i mean i love everything she creates she's a big source of inspiration for me but i love her greetings cards because they're like simple but cute and effective so yeah i feel like this is my personal pinterest board at the moment obviously never gonna copy another designer but she really does inspire me a lot for now however i am going to put a youtube video on and i'm going to sketch out a few ideas for some pins so wish me luck <laughs> so we have some initial ideas i am struggling for more inspiration at this point so i'm gonna take my little lunch break which involves me getting my mum to dye my hair for me so in the next clip i will have wet hair no doubt but i will see you in a second and we're gonna start on um mocking up the pin designs on my laptop so let's go this is where the lighting in this video goes dramatically downhill because it is 5 p.m and it's already pitch black but i am gonna go on my desk now i've dyed my hair and i'm gonna use maybe my wacom tablet i have this i bought it years ago when i was at uni i love it a lot i might use this but if not i will use my little trackpad which is a recent battery died um it's just the apple trackpad it's the magic is it called a magic pad i don't know and it's very expensive let me tell you that but i thought as soon as i have my new screen um i needed a trackpad because i'm just so used to working with my laptop i have the magic mouse the apple mouse thing I got that like years ago with a gift card but i just don't like using an actual mouse i prefer having the trackpad so i bought the trackpad long story short and i'm gonna split screen my laptop i think and sort of sketch out the ideas that i have so far in illustrator we're gonna give it a go at least so yeah i'm gonna open illustrator up on the new screen probably gonna put some netflix on maybe i kind of want to watch the grinch <laughs> i'm like buzzing to watch christmas christmas films has anyone watched claws um the new netflix animation film christmas film i loved it i did accidentally fall asleep through some of it to my boyfriend's annoyance but that always happens but yeah i thought it was a really really good film so i need to watch that again so maybe i'll watch that or the grinch or the many others that i have to choose from it is the next day and i am still working out the pins um i actually ended up switching back to using my ipad to get some more final ideas because using illustrator was like kind of restricting for the work i wanted to be doing so i used my ipad i'm going to show you what i was creating um this morning and last night when i carried on without filming i do find it quite difficult to be creative on camera a lot of the time it's very contradicting um me struggling to be creative on camera when that's what i've made my channel about but yeah sometimes i do prefer just to be kind of sat by myself downstairs with my parents just drawing 
because I want to, not because I have to because I'm filming it. So, basically, you missed a bit. I'm going to show you what I've been doing. So, this is progress. So, in this corner, I had the original sketches just to kind of narrow down these ones, decide which one I liked. I came up with this kind of style. I was trying to recreate it in here, like... That was the vibe I was going for but I couldn't fit the words in right and I think I'm getting there. I've done so many different layers of like this text and deleted it and start again um, to try and fit it in the circle shape. But I think I'm getting there, I just need to go over it again and I adjust to where these red lines are. That's kind of where I'd prefer the letters to go. Um, it's the same kind of vibe as my little note card that comes with the Soul and Fire orders which is over there. Can you see that? I could get up and show you, but that's a way too much effort. It's the style of writing that this thing is in. Be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. That. So, that's the vibe I'm going for. Wow, that was a lot longer than it needed to be, wasn't it? So yeah, I will get there with that. I'm going to do, hopefully, finish this today. But I like to kind of like leave it, sleep on it and come back and see what I think. But I do still really like this this morning. I do want to adjust the U word but we're getting there although i did very quickly double check like pricing and manufacturers and stuff i do need to like go into it properly and pins are so expensive to buy i would not really registered obviously they're metal so and like they're all handmade so it's obviously going to cost more but i'd not really registered that I had to buy like a certain amount, like the minimum amount you can generally buy is 50 and each one costs quite a bit per unit. So 50 times that, it's a big chunk of money for me to like pay out with no real knowledge of whether they're gonna do well and whether I'm gonna like make my money back. But I guess this is the risk you have to take with being an entrepreneur, like these risks always happen they happened when i brought out my notepads if anyone remembers that or my notebooks should i say and my notepads it's a big investment and it's very scary because it's a very big chunk of money going out your bank account yeah it's a big big chunk of money to be like bye um now i have products i have to sell but every other thing i've done it with has sold so fingers crossed i'm on to something here let me know what you think of the pins and of course follow me on instagram because i'm going to keep updating things on there but yeah, right, let's let's adjust these drawings and hopefully I can come to some sort of final design. I'm excited. <laughs> Good morning. It is now a couple of days later and it's been the weekend, had some time off and we're revisiting the pin designs. So I am going to finalise one of the pins I've decided. Um, I'm going to start off with just the one and then see how that release goes and then do the other one. So I think I'm going to go with the one that says create a life you love. Um, because I feel like that's fitting with kind of my mantra and everything that I like to do. So I thought I'd show you the progress so far on the iPad and then we're gonna outline it and adjust it on my laptop and then it should be ready for like colour choices and all that kind of stuff so we're getting there. Alrighty so here is the kind of pretty much finished version of the text. I'm not sure about this colour um, I'm going to work that out. I might do some Instagram polls or something. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me and then you can influence what this is going to look like. But um, that's the basic idea. I'm going to put it into Illustrator now and just make it a vector so I can show you that. at my desk we've created the uh, little mock-up thing um, it's not the final design I'm getting there I'm very close to liking it 
Um, I've just had a brainwave though and I have these little tiny circle stickers that I stick on my merch um, and they are pretty much the same size as what I would like these little pins to be. So I've been printing out some stickers. Um, this was like the first attempt um, and you can kind of see what I'm going for but it was a bit chunky um, and then I realised I could change the settings on the printer so this is the the new one so the lines are a bit thinner a bit more crisp however i am reading it like wrong now i'm reading it like create you a life love <laughs> i'm reading it backwards now it's that small so i'm gonna maybe post it on instagram and see what people think but size wise i think this is quite a nice size like it's big enough to be noticed but you kind of have to like go closer to read it i'm quite enjoying that size and these are like 24 millimeter stickers i think like 24 23 millimeters so yeah the size is good it's just the font i'm gonna give it a bit of a rearrange to try and make sure that you read it the right way around so what i'm gonna do i am going to share a little bit of this process on my instagram so if you would like to see how these turn out in the end and like vote on any polls if they're still live when this video goes up um head over to my instagram i'll put it on screen and you'll be able to follow the process obviously also follow soul and fire that's where i will be selling these pins um but yeah watch this space they are very very close to being completed i'm gonna order them this week so hopefully we'll have them um maybe in the new year so yeah Thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed this little creative pin making process. I will create another video of me designing the greetings cards that I mentioned. So stick around for that. Please do press subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And actually, if you press the little notification bell next to the subscribe button, um, you'll get a notification every time I upload and it means that you won't miss a video. So if you haven't done that, make sure you do because only 10% of you apparently have done that. I decided to look at some numbers earlier and i never look at numbers because it, i don't like them <laughs> um but yeah if you fancy doing that please do thanks again for all the support and i'll see you soon for another video bye <laughs>